Welcome back Legionnaires and we're here with another part of our Abbasid campaign which we are for 1212 which we are trying to reform the Abbasid Empire and in today's episode I think we're gonna probably wrap up the siege down here in Kerman we're gonna just allow this to be sieged out and we're gonna start our offensive north or yeah sort of north which is northwest we'll call it so we're gonna raise uh, keep raising an army here in Baghdad we're also raising one here in Basra uh, our economy has taken a massive hit because I I was looking why and uh, we, our trade agreement with the Ayyubids is over. So that's not so good. Um, so we're going to have to sort out uh, our economy there. We're probably going to have to take a few more cities. And uh, well, what a better way to do that than take out the Zengids. They still aren't building an army. They've got 13 stacks. It's not really that great. So we'll take advantage of that. So anyway, um, thank you for all the support on the current Let's Play, this Let's Play anyway. And uh, just keep it up with all the likes and subscribing if you're new around here. And the comments to show your support. I do appreciate all the comments and all the advice. If you guys uh, want to just keep dropping your advice and like, do this, it's a better way of getting money. Or uh, do this because it will help with your public order. Like you're building the wrong building or whatever in a certain area. Please do keep it up. I'll keep it all in mind. I may not act on it uh, because obviously... I've got other plans, or I've seen something that I want. I've got. Pl I'm thinking ahead on what I'm going to build in a certain area, but uh, I do take it all on. Uh, take it all on and uh, try and act on as much as possible. But anyway, on with the episode. So, like I said, we're going to be building uh, some armies, and so I don't really want to be building in Baghdad. Probably want to be building maybe here. I think. Uh, no, not not in Baghdad. Of course, I want to be building in Baghdad. I don't want to be building in Kufa. Sorry. I'll also be building in Basra. We'll t I'll take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't take too long. Um, so I'm probably going to... This 13 stack is actually not... It's not too bad. Could do with some more. Maybe it's just some stuff that's going to... I can spam out for like one turn. But anyway, we're going to end the turn. So we're not wasting time. Just looking at... Uh, we're looking at an army that would, doesn't... That can't move or can't recruit. We could have actually moved it and started recruiting, but we can do that next turn when we have money. People also suggesting... Oh, a defensive alliance. Yes. Um, people also suggesting I go westward and take this city here, which is desolate. Um, I will go and do that at some point. Um, it's just not, like, on top of my priorities. Let's sort the economy out first, so we can do that basically in one turn. So I don't have to just sit around and build up an economy and then go, right, we'll go over there and colonize that place. And while that's been happening, it looks like the Ubids are actually going to be able to siege down Akka, but they are losing a lot of their own kingdom. Uh, or their empire. No, no, defensive alliance would not be acceptable right now. Yeah, they're losing Cairo. Here we go. So it looks like they're going to attack. Um. Hmm. This I think I could win. I'm going to try and play... Um, I'm going to try and fight this one. Um... So I will see you guys in a moment on the battlefield when we are in this big battle, a huge battle to start off the episode. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield and we're in a god awful, uh, like, battlefield. Oh, uh, because, well, I can't really see anything. So I'm just going to set up a front line here, put my archers, or my Ghazi foot, Ghulam, whatever they're called, Ghulam foot guard, there we go. Not Ghazi. Ghazi is my, ge uh, my general. And, uh, yeah, we need him to stay alive because he's my uh, heir. Let's put all of them in skirmish. Let's put all of you in skirmish. Actually, they don't have skirmish mode. Okay. Did not know that. Uh, Nafatoons. Actually, we'll put a little bit further back. They may come in handy, to be honest. Uh, let's have the general in front of the Nafatoons just to protect them from any missile fire. I'll have my cavalry all over on this side. I'm going to support all the cavalry on one side today, I think. Right. There we go. Let's start the battle. I'm going to wait for my other army to appear. Uh, yeah, the odds are hopeless right now, but uh, that's going to that's gonna slowly change, I imagine. Right. Luckily, we have a lot more Ghulam foot guards, which is going to be huge. Um, so I'm gonna put them, like, also out here. We also have more... Well, you have a lot of archers. Um, all the cavalry go out here. 
got more infantry. I'm going to just put two of them on the left, on that flank, and then two on that flank. And then my general can just go and sit back here. And there we go. We are sorted. So I'm just going to fast forward quickly. Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. We might be able to take out this general. We could take out that general quite easily. Go on, go on, go on, go on. You can get that general. Okay, we'll take out this guy. Hold your fire. Or maybe not. Ah, you're kidding me. Pull back, pull back, pull back. They're gonna set up nicely. Okay, right, you pull back to there. We've got all the rest of my cavalry appearing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We've got more got more cavalry appearing. No time. We killed a couple of theirs. We killed two guys. Yeah, here we go. I mean, this is looking like their main army here, so it looks like they're going to just set out with this. I'm quite happy them to uh, come over here and try and challenge me. I might even take this hill, actually. Um, yeah, actually, let's take this hill. Uh, hopefully, there's not a general up here. Let's... Yeah, let's get up this hill. Infantry go like so. You become the left flank over here. You become the right flank over here. Cavalry's going to have to do a bit more of a fallback situation. Ghoul and foot guards, you're going all up here, aren't you? So you can kind of go like here. We're just going to make it sort of a general line to start with. Generals, just go back there. And there we go, we're looking good. Are they actually going to try and charge me? Looks like they might. Uh, our horse archers keep coming this way. They actually, yeah, they actually look like they're going to try and challenge me in this fight. Okay. Okay, horse archers carry on over here. We'll use the Ghazi foot. Um, Ghazi. I keep wanting to call them Ghazi for some reason. Ghulam foot guard, carry on up here. There we go. Okay, carry on here. Carry on fighting. They're gonna. Okay, more cavalry. Right, they've come in. That's not the worst charge in the world. Okay, we're gonna have to just contend with this lot here. Right, we pulled, we won there. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Cavalry, pull back. Archers carry on up the hill. Archers carry on up the hill. Very nice, very nice. Break that other cavalry. They're actually, yeah, they're going to just carry on charging in. What madman. What madmen. Right, cavalry carry on up here. Archers, I beg, get up here. Oh, these are these archers as well. They're pretty good. Kind of want to keep them alive. They haven't got much infantry. Well, they haven't got as much as I thought they had. Put it like that. I kind of need some infantry over here, though, to support this lot. Oh, that's good. That is very, very good. Pull this stuff back. The Nafatoons get a bit forward. General keep coming forward. I don't know. Oh, they have Nafatoons as well. Okay. 
These guys get back. You go in. You pull back. Shot cavalry go in. Shot cavalry go in. Focus these Nathatoons down. I do apologise if there's a lack of uh, a lack of commentary because I, I am mainly just uh, trying to keep myself alive here. I need to pull this infantry line forward. Support everyone up here. Yep, yeah, we're going to have to help fight these Ghazi warriors here. Not the end of the world. Pull these guys back. Oh, come on. Uh, you go here. Start charging. Yeah, that cavalry unit's going to die, but that is a shame. We've got a sword unit up here that needs to carry on into combat. You need to carry on into combat. Yeah, that's the cavalry gone. That's a shame. Melee cavalry carry on down there. Horse archers, you're going to have to become mobile. You're not doing enough. Shoot the Nafatoons. Shoot Nafatoons. Oh no, you're in combat. Shoot Nafatoons, please. We're winning on the top flank, like at the very, very top of the battle, but not at the bottom. <laughs> Put it like that. Um, we could definitely do with winning this fight. Okay, their units are rallying. We're winning. Oh no, we're not winning so much down here now. Go in there. General, you might as well come down here, carry on rallying. Oh nice, we're routing that. Nafatoon unit. Oh, and that's a huge route in the middle now. Okay. Lack of cavalry is a bit evident. But you carry on down here. Yes, we've definitely got that right flank now as well. Excellent, right. Um, just start bombarding stuff back here. They've well they're fleeing, that's fine, it's not the end of the world. Um start shooting here. Start shooting up here. You start. I'm going to just keep giving you orders. Just keep charging. Yep. We've broken through that front line. Nicely. Just make sure some of these guys don't get out of here. Yep. Oh, yeah. We've got this. I don't know. I think it's just because the general died. Um, Nafatoons, where are you? Just don't keep charging in. Um, shoot these guys. Support the Nafatoons, keep them supported. Okay, yeah, we're doing okay. You better have skirmish mode on Nafatoons. Oh, that kind of that was huge. Was that Nafatoon hit in the end? That was huge. Uh, you're there. You just kill these guys. Where is my cavalry? Did my cavalry all break? Oh, most of it did. General over here. Oh my gosh. Well, we didn't. It wasn't in our favor, but it's uh, certainly turned in our favor. I put it like that. Can you guys all just finish this unit off? You're not even. You're not even shooting. Uh, you're not supposed to be in combat. Sorry. Uh, kill that unit. There we go. We'll uh, we'll break that general one way or another. Hold your fire now. <laughs> that's uh, that's probably doing too much damage to our guys. There we go. Excellent. Routing them. Very nice. Charge up here. Oh, they're routing. Wow, they actually routed my men. They're uh, they've rallied. Okay. Don't need to be in uh, 
your V anymore, or your diamond, sorry. Uh, yeah, there we go. I think we've won that. Wow. Uh, very stressful. I'll put it like that. There was moments where I was uh, thinking we were going to lose that. Um, but yeah, we did that quite well. It was certainly when we getting up that hill massively helped. Um, apart from that, it was... Uh, I mean, and then that early general kill was very, very handy. Uh, I don't know like where he was exactly, but he was somewhere. And he just broke instantly, so that's great. Just keep running these guys down. Uh, I don't know if we're going to catch them. Just focus on these guys down. Come on. Yeah, oh, those um, Ghoul and Foot Guard return. That's good. Can you just all shoot there, please? Um, you just shoot. Okay, the cavalry caught there. Right, you go and catch these guys, and then we can wrap this up. Let's just put this on fast forward for the sake of it. No need to uh, really still be chasing. Uh, you cavalry, go up there. Oh, I've got more cavalry here. I didn't even realize. Oh, you're on skirmish. Oh, I forgot that these guys are on skirmish mode. Uh, so they weren't actually charging me when I sent them in. Oh, well. Um, I guess I know now. At least I don't know like the key parts of the battle. Because they never turned up. Um, yeah, we lost a lot of cavalry. Uh, we can probably replenish most of it. These uh, dire Ghoulam Lancers, though, I don't know if we can replace them just yet. If they if they died, like, properly. Um, but we'll see. Oh my god, yeah, there's, like, loads of men just trying to run for this defense. But, I mean, this is going to help with the siege. Help massively with the siege. Oh, you just go in here. Yeah, you chase them down. Uh, my general then can go up here. And we'll guess we'll send you up here as well. Nice. Uh, Nafatoons go up here. I don't want to really bombarding in. And there we go. Um, we routed everything. Very nice and easily. Actually, can you carry on here? You haven't killed enough of them. Excellent. Okay. All you are just start shooting up here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, oh, and we've got all these guys now. And there we go, we'll end it there. It's a decisive victory, apparently. I uh, I would definitely... Wow, yeah, my cavalry got like 263 kills. The one only got 18. Um, but yeah, we did quite well, actually. And Nafatoons got 46 kills as well. Excellent. Always want those Nafatoons to get plenty of kills. But anyway, I will see you guys back on the campaign map, I think. Actually, no, because it looks like it's going to load in in perfect time. Just as I was about to finish there. So there we go. Don't need to worry about that just yet. So... Yep, we destroyed that army massively. We're going to just take on any uh, any willing volunteers that want to join our army. And looks like the Quasmarine Empire is going to do other stuff. It doesn't... <laughs> looks like that battle is going to take up most of this episode. But we are going to start... Uh, I'll try and start preparations for our invasion of the Zengids. Hopefully, we will... Uh... Oh, and there you go. The Ottomans are around. They've uh, sieged Rum. Uh, been sieging out Rum. And there we go. Okay, we lost. they lost a lot of people. Jafar... Um, but yeah, okay, so the Ottomans aren't quite a thing yet, but they, they're getting there. And we're loved by the vassal of uh, these guys. Like, well, these guys is vassal. Well, they are a vassal. You know what I mean. Across Marine Empire's vassal. Uh, let's put integrity up and let's also put replenishment up again. And then you can, sir, can have that. And you can have zeal. Um, and then you can have authority would be pretty good. Yeah, um, is that just for general's unit? Oh yeah, it's just for commander's unit. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll do that. There you go. Then you, sir, have you got any things that we can do? You actually don't. Your integrity is currently going down. But only temporarily. So anyway, we should be able to take Kerman now. Yeah, very easily. Just go in, storm this guy's uh, city. Take that for ourselves. Lovely jubbly. So we've taken that. We'll occupy. Ready for orders. Uh, and then we'll rebuild, I guess. God, there's a lot to rebuild here. Uh, yeah, we'll put a funduk in. Artisan, I'm not so sure. What is the religious state here? We might need another food place. Uh, so I'm going to knock that down just for now. And then you can go back to Yad's. 
Why are you so unhappy, Yads? Mainly religious differences. Well, we're sorting that out. Um, so you can shut up. Assassinate. Uh, try and kill this guy. There we go. Oh, he successfully killed him. Wow. Is that army just going to disappear? No, there are a couple of units in it. Okay. You can't really do anything about that. I'm just going to leave you there. You can replenish in time. They've got plenty of replenishing to be doing. I'm just going to move you all the way up to here. Onto the border. Baghdad is slowly becoming happy again. Um, Actually, there's none of them I really desperately want. What can we recruit here? We can recruit quite a lot of stuff. Actually, no, we can't. Oh, no, we're getting this one. So, yeah, we can recruit quite a lot of stuff here. Get a lot of good archers, a lot of infantry. I could just cross the border and into there. Mm, no, I can't, actually. Well, we'll see what we can do. I mean, this army's now freed up. This one can come all the way back and it can start to campaign that way. And we only need one em one army, really, to uh, to carry on the push into the Quasmarine Empire. When we do that, uh, it's the fans looking okay. It's food situation's a bit a bit bad, but it's not awful just yet. War weariness is uh, gone down. That's good. We let's try and get that down again. Uh, public order here is nearly sorted out because we're going to have this in place. I mean, the disease is still an issue. This could definitely do with being replaced. Um, well, not replaced, but improved as well. Our, our, our economy looks amazing now. Um, so that's brilliant. If I could speak, it'd also help. Uh, Hasfids, can we trade with you yet? Greetings, my friend. No. Greetings. I, think I will give you military access. And, uh, and you can give me some, some money. There we go. I humbly propose this. In the hope that that they might actually give me... Oh. Okay, maybe maybe not. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, I thought they might just give me the money for free. It was moderate. Um, but anyway, yes. It looks like Basra is nearly ready. Urban, what's your garrison? It's not actually that great. So we might be able to actually storm in and take it nearly with one turn. Hmm. Actually, I just thought, do I want an artisan? Because then you can build catapults. But no, you can't build catapults. Uh, with the artisan. Is it military recruitment? It is, and the siege engineers. So we'd need a muster ground somewhere, and then we'd need a siege engineer. So we could do that uh, somewhere. I might put that in Hamadan or in Kufa when that grows. That might be helpful. Avaz is also, well, it's slowly getting there. I might put a religious place into Avaz because it is still a bit unhappy. Religious difference is still minus. Too. Wow. Um, but yes, we. I would like some siege engines and be able to break down some walls. Silk trader. If I had the money, that would be great. But anyway, I'm going to end the turn. Okay, I've got a, an unassigned skill first. He's a governor. Alright, so you can have that and then you can have zeal. There you go. Sort that out. You'll love that. Now let's see what happens in the center. Hopefully the Quasmarine Empire doesn't just bring another stack out and just go challenge me to a fight, which would be a bit surprised if it did. It doesn't really have the armies. They've just got a couple of armies sticking around in uh, my land, which is pretty useful because now they can't recruit uh, new armies because they're at their quota probably. Like, And they're all those armies that are in their quota are in my land, just isolated. Look, he's going to try and get back now. He's sending another spy in. What a foolish man. He will die. It's my assassin. Looks like Oman's going to come up and just bring me some troops. I don't really need them, but thank you. Oh, and it looks like the Vassals is at war with uh, its overlord. I didn't even realise that. And Consumption has rejoined us in uh, Baghdad. No surprise there. Um, Baghdad still loves us, though, even though it's got problems. Um, foreign Trespasser, yeah, no surprise there. Oh, foreign trespasser. Oh, yeah, the cell grids. Okay, Kerman's got a food shortage. Hassan has a uh, has ranked up. Excellent. Right, so we're gonna um, spread religious differ uh, 
religious influence, and we're gonna also. I'm gonna boost that it religion even more, so that's gonna massively just be changing. So that'll be great. You can start building more uh, archers. Of what type, I do not know. Maybe Gulen Foot Guard. I could do with some nice Gulen Foot Guard. My lord. But I'm going to just trespass it. Um, the Zengids won't like this, but I don't really care. And I'm going to start recruiting over here, because this is where I want to be. This is where I want to be recruiting. Um, what are we going to get, though? Jund... Uh, what, Rajila? I could get some of them. I'm probably just going to get some of these archers and maybe... Okay, we can get a couple of them if we wanted. Uh, I might get some crossbows, actually. Yeah, let's get some crossbows in this army. 16, a 16 stack should be okay as well. I'm going to put you on the border of Basra, because you are still very happy. So that's excellent. Uh, and then you can just start building. You can build. Uh, well, we've got to take some Nafatoons on my campaign. you got to take the, ca the Nafatoons. And then we'll build some Rumut Jund. Because they're actually pretty good. They're not awful. They're not great in melee, I doubt, but, like, they're pretty good. Hassan, you can carry on going off. It's both my. Yes, yeah, both of my agents are called Hassan. Okay, well, that's a coincidence. Uh, okay, so Kerman's only minus two currently with me with my army in it. I'm gonna just put him outside to see what the difference is. So minus 21, okay. W mainly because of food. So food is still a massive issue here. So we're gonna put another fields in. Um, I imagine that, yeah, food minus 12, and then we've got instability minus four. Religious difference is minus three. We're sorting out the religion problems, okay? Ever so slowly. But um, we will probably take these other regions down here as well. We'll stabilize these. These are all slowly being stabilized as well. So we should be okay. We are getting there. Champion, my lord. We'll assassinate him in a few turns time. I only need to have a couple of places that have like uh, recruit, like able to recruit lots of stuff. So that's going to be Basra. I think I'm going to make Hamadan one as well. And then the rest are just going to basically be uh, places of just... Everyone loves each other. And we're just going to have loads and loads of, uh, of bonuses and places. That's all I'm going to do. Um, I might try and finish some of these stacks off as well. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we do actually have... Oh, this is actually helping with food, in fairness. Um, so that's not the worst thing in the world. I might put some horse archers in this army then. These are very expensive, though. Uh, they are not so expensive. We can only build one. Wow, why can we only build one? Do they Oh, do they take on a certain... Yeah, I think they take on a certain, like, a... Uh... Oh, what am I trying to say? Uh, population, that's the one. Uh, I could go for the next one. This is because of Berger... Uh, Berger manpower. Yeah, I'll do it. It's going to, like, in two turns, my economy is going to crash again, but I'm going to have some really good uh, cavalry. Actually, yeah, why don't I just, you know what? Oh, I can't do it. Oh, okay, I can, only, I can only have one of each, apparently. I can't build any more. Very well, very well. Also, might have something just to do with money, I've just realized. Yeah, I don't, yeah, might have something to do with money. But anyway, we're going to end the turn once more, and we're going to see what... Uh, we can do in this final turn we'll make for the episode because we are coming up to the half hour mark and we will see what happens they want a military alliance and they'll give me two grand yeah sure go for it I've got mo lots of military allies now some I will definitely be breaking um, the Ubid's definitely being one of them the Gurids possibly not I might just uh, try and make them a vassal See if I can do it diplomatically. But we are slowly going, we're slowly building up ready to go west. I mean, it would just be two turns, so probably be the start of next episode. I imagine I'll actually probably see the offensive. Uh, that massive battle in Kerman basically has taken up a lot of this episode, sadly. But it was a good battle, so uh, 
hopefully we have uh, more more battles like it. That's all I can say, really. I just like how the Zengis have literally not moved out of Mosul. I just don't see the need. Okay, Oman oh swapped which armies coming to join. My lord and master. Uh, no, I, I will not be giving you any military tracks. It's mainly because you demanded it, uh, with some money. Okay, and we've had a noble birth, Abdullah. Very nice. Right, you, sir, assassinate this man. All right, we killed him. Nice. We actually did kill him. He's not going to come back. A wounded man. Very good. Okay, you've built this. Um, what's the food situation look like now? Minus four. Well, let's put in a goat herd because that's going to help it massively, the food situation. And it's going to give us 250 for animal husbandry. So we can't complain at that, really. It's a bit of money and a lot of food. Um, it took 10 turns and we got uh, advanced castle architecture now. I'm going to... I don't really need movement range for all armies. Um, for all uh, navies, sorry. If it was all armies, I'd definitely be getting it. Um, recruitment cost for cavalry. That's pretty useful. Nomadic settlement. Isn't that the next one of this? Yes. It doesn't actually help with better cavalry. It does help with food, I guess. But, uh, oh, not with food. With Well, food and money. Royal Amir State. Uh, yeah, I'll get that. That's going to be the better version of the Prince's Palace at the end. Or the, or the best one. I'm going to put Cunning in, so that will help with... doesn't help with anything currently. And then Provincial Security... That could be useful. I'm going to just put a salt unit. Let's have a salt unit on. Uh, so that's useful. You're building slowly. You're plus one now, so that's okay. Minus four. So Ray is actually the final place that's not quite happy. So putting a mosque in there might be helpful. These places are happy, but that will probably change once I leave Kerman. I'd love to build that gold mine, but uh, I don't think it would really allow it. Um, Avaz is actually still neutral. I do need to put a a mosque in there as well. And Kufa, I'm pretty sure, would be positive on its own now. I think this guy could leave quite happily. The Shrine of Iman Ali. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's not good, actually. i just seen that as religious plus 10% Shia Islam. That's not good at all. Um... But your consumption, that's not so good either. Right, so we'll uh, keep building infantry. We've got, yeah, we're just doing that all for the next turn. I think in the next turn we could probably attack. I don't know if these guys, oh, they've recruited an army now. They've actually made an army. The army at Yads could certainly come and support if needs be, but I think it'll be fine there. I've got plenty of money that I just don't know what to spend on. I could do it for Istafan and make it that, but I don't really want to. Basra's food situation is not great, I will admit. Um, no, I think I'm okay, actually. I might save it up, might use the money to save up for a mosque, because that's what I want to do, save up for some mosques. So I'll end the turn, guys, uh, end the episode here, guys, and end the turn, I guess. Um, so if you've enjoyed them, please remember to do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And also leave a comment, I do appreciate all of them, uh, and I do read them all and try to reply to as many as possible. If you've got any advice, if you're thinking you should have attacked um, the Zengids now, or you think uh, I shouldn't attack these guys down here, I don't know, or leave leave the Ayyubids alone, which is, I'd just like to say, if anyone says leave the Ayyubids alone, I will not be leaving them alone. They will be dying. Um, someone did suggest leaving the uh, temples for... Uh, the holy, like or like the holy ordered temples here, because then I can recruit Templars. I think they said, but I'm not sure if that's true. I don't think it will allow me to, but I'll give it a go anyway. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, uh, like I said, keep up your support, and until next time.